Hello, this is Bob with Bob CNC, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to reflash the E3 and the E4's controller. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the Bob CNC webpage at bobcnc.com. Once you're here, there'll be a menu, and in that menu you'll find the support button. Click there. And once you get to our support page, you want to click the troubleshooting section. And once you get to the troubleshooting section, click Software and Firmware. And then finally, the article on reflashing the E3 and E4 CNC router controller. Once here, you want to come down here and get the flash files zip. Once you download this file, you want to unzip it. Now I've unzipped mine on the desktop and I'll double click the zip file. It's easiest for me to grab the folder and just drag it to my desktop. However, you may want to hit extract and put it on your desktop. Once your files are unzipped, you can open the folder and you can see that you have an E3 flash bat and an E4 flash bat. These are the files that we're going to want to use. Since I have an E3, I'll go ahead and double click the E3 flash bat. Of course, if you had an E4, you would want to do the E4. Once I double click that, it's going to have a command window come up and it's going to ask you for your COM port. You need to know what COM port your controller is connected to. It's probably 3 or 4. Mine happens to be 15. Now I'm going to click enter, but before I do, I want to explain what's going to happen so that you can watch the screen and verify that the reflash is working. So it's first going to read the EEPROM program, write it, and then read it on the controller, and then it's going to wait 10 seconds, and it's going to do the same thing with the firmware. It's very important that this happens, or you may not be reflashing your controller successfully. One thing that you can do to make sure that this happens successfully is go ahead and unplug your controller, and then plug it back in to make sure that nothing was connected to it. So I'm going to click enter. Here we go. So we read the program. We wrote it. We read it again. We're waiting 10 seconds. And now we're going to do the same thing with the program. Read it. We're going to write it. We're going to make sure that it's on there correctly. And then it's going to say that it verified it and everything was OK. And you can press any key to continue. If you see this screen, you have successfully reflashed your controller. I hope this helps. If not, give us an email at helpdesk at bobcnc.com. Till next time, guys.